Hi, this is Darnell with Whaling Recipes. For you who are not familiar with my YouTube channel, I do a lot of reviews and cooks with different countertop cookers, air fryers, air fry toaster ovens, pressure cookers, bread machines, microwaves, all different types of cookers. And so in this particular video, there's a really brand new cooker that's just being announced and just coming out, just becoming available in some places. It's the Emeril Lagasse Air Fryer Pro. And so I'm taking a look at it. I want to give a look over it with you, just kind of the spec and such. I haven't actually purchased this yet. I'm determining maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe you're thinking the same as I am. And so we can go through it together and I can give you my perspective as someone who has used a whole lot of different air fryers and toaster ovens, a whole lot of different cookers, give you some insight on maybe how this one might work out. And so I'm going to give you a look at that right now. I'll just give you a look at a site that's selling the cooker because uh, this is the one that I guess is reputable that I know about is Bed Bath & Beyond. I've seen some other sites selling it that I'm not sure about them you know as far as sellers so i didn't want to show those but i do know bed bath and beyond although nothing in this video is sponsored at all but basically this new cooker the emerald gossi six quart they're calling it the power air fryer pro emerald gossi power air fryer pro it's also called um in other respects the emerald lagasse power well the emerald gossi air fryer pro without the power in the name but i'll show you that in a sec but here you can see the actual cooker it's got kind of like a chrome finish top or color kind of chrome color top and down on the lower part it's black it's got a pull out type of door kind of like the power air fryer oven has and just to scroll over and give you a look at some of these other photos you can see it's got like a rotisserie set up in there rotisserie basket in there and here you also see it open. So at first glance, how is this not the power air fryer oven that we all know about and has been around for like years? I mean, it looks very much alike, but there may be some things here that are different. There are some differences. Here you can see it has a steel interior. So this cooker having a steel interior means that the inside is going to stay hotter than the average old power air fryer oven. So this one, you know, more like the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite or New Wave Brio 14Q, which I've demonstrated both of on this channel, they are able to maintain that heat a little better because of all steel on that interior. So that is a plus for this cooker for sure. And the price as you saw is $170. But I wanted to show you in Q&A, there's some interesting information that people are talking about here in the Q&A of the product. I thought this particular question and answer were particularly interesting because someone asked that the fan was located on the top or the back of the oven. Kind of like, you know, is it located on the top like the power air fryer oven and others? And someone responded that the fan is located on the back of the oven. Now, if this one has heating in the back instead of the top, then that would greatly change the game when it comes to these smaller sized air fryer ovens, not air fryer toaster oven. There are like air fryer toaster ovens and smart ovens that have heating sources in the back. But there hasn't been a air fryer oven of this design that had the fan and the heat in the back. If this one has the heating source in the back instead of the top, that changes the game. That might redistribute how the heat works. That might give a more even cook on all levels. And that's something that any of you who have used these air fryer ovens that have the heat from the top know about when you've got like three tiers of racks. The one on the bottom is not getting as much heat as the one on the top. But if the heat is in the back pushing on everything, that definitely changes the game. I haven't, to my comfort level, confirmed this yet, but this would definitely show that the design has some upgrades from other types of air fryer ovens. I thought it was uh, interesting. Someone had a question about is there a video on how to use the rotisserie. They obviously haven't seen my power air fryer oven rotisserie video because that would show you how to use the rotisserie and all those accessories that we've seen. If you haven't seen that, be sure to check that out here on my YouTube channel. Now, in addition to what I found at Bed Bath & Beyond, I also found the manual for this product here. 
So I want to give you a look at some things that I found of interest in the manual. And when I mentioned that, you know, the name in some respects, in some circles, is just called the Emerald Lagasse Air Fryer Pro. Here in the official manual, it's just called the Emerald Lagasse Air Fryer Pro. No power at all anywhere in the name, just Emerald Lagasse Air Fryer Pro, and that's it. Now I do want to point out this is a six quart air fryer, so this would be comparable in size to the Power Air Fryer Oven 6 quart or maybe the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite 6 quart. And here you see some photos of the cooker, kind of the front and the back. You see it's got vent in the back. You see all the rotisserie accessories. These accessories look awfully familiar, TriStar. TriStar who makes the Power Air Fryer Oven. And these accessories look like they're just the same accessories brought over from the Power Air Fryer Oven into this Emerald Lagasse Air Fryer Pro. Look pretty much the same. The skewers and the rotisserie basket and the drip pan, the racks. I mean, this looks like a total kind of copy of the Power Air Fryer Oven setup, except for it's got that steel interior, and if it heats from the back instead of the top, that would be interesting. Now here's something that you definitely want to keep in mind whenever you're looking at a cooker. These technical specifications, you want to keep your eye on for anything you're going to buy. Power supply is just standard. It's always going to be a standard, like 120 for house voltage. But the rated power is where you really want to keep an eye whenever you're buying a cooker. So 1700 watts is a lot of power for a countertop cooker. That's on the higher end when it comes to power for a countertop cooker. I mean, the most I've seen is probably like 1800 watts. So 1700 watts is pretty good. That means that it's gonna get to temp really quick. That should maintain temp pretty quick. I mean, without even having this cooker in my hands, I can just look over the spec and tell how a lot of these cookers are gonna basically perform. You can tell from something like the wattage rating how hot it's gonna get quick and how long it's going to be able to maintain that temp well. With 1700 watts, it's going to get hot quicker than a lot of others. It's going to maintain that temp pretty good. And as I mentioned, the capacity is 6 quarts. The temperature ranges are 90 degrees Fahrenheit to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can definitely do all of your dehydration. You could probably even at that 90 degree setting, maybe even try and get away with proofing dough or something. But you can definitely do your dehydration, you can do your air frying up at 400, you can do your probably some baking to some degree. So this is a versatile cooker as far as its temperature ranges. Now here we see a good look at the control panel on a cooker. This is another thing that looks like a total copy from the Power Air Fryer Oven in my personal opinion and probably in the opinion of your you folks who have a power air fryer oven you probably believe this looks just like your power air fryer oven and maybe the folks at TriStar who seem to be behind this product uh, maybe they just borrowed it from that cooker to put into emeralds so we see here you know different buttons for presets for foods and it kind of explains some of those here now one thing to take note of here in the manual is cleaning and always you want to see what the manual says about cleaning it says that basically all the parts that you can take out are dishwasher safe. The unit itself you want to wipe down with uh, like basically warm soapy water but not immerse it. You know wipe it off with a cloth, wet soapy cloth and such and dry it off. So seems like you know it's probably easy cleaning kind of like on par with the Power Air Fryer Oven, Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. Now I wanted to mention this at the end of the manual. It has a 90 day money back guarantee and that's all you get. No one year warranty. No words of warranty at all, just a 90 day money back guarantee. So you can take that as your warranty. It's 90 days and you can get your money back. But with these cookers, I would recommend that you try and cover yourself a little better than that. You know, you probably want to try and buy this somewhere where you can get a extended warranty. There's always the options of like a aftermarket warranty through companies that offer warranties after purchase. But you might want to think about what your options are, what you want to do to maybe cover yourself more than 90 days just in case. Unless you're determined that you're going to, you know, make up your mind of how it's going to work for you in just 90 days. But things can always break after 90 days, which is why it's good to 
try and get some type of coverage, maybe longer term, you know, if you're going to be using it a good bit. All right, so that's the look at the Emeril Lagasse Air Fryer Pro. And, you know, I myself, I'm still trying to get some more looks at this, trying to get some more, even more material about this and get some more information before I actually make a purchase myself or determine that I'm not. I'm still, you know, kind of trying to determine if it's got like that heat in the back instead of on top, then very well may get one. If it's got heat just on the top, then I may just consider it more like yet another power air fryer oven. And, uh, you know, I've got plenty of videos with the power air fryer oven elite already, but if it's got the heat from the back, that would change the game for me. Still, uh, trying to make a full determination on that. It seems like from some photo angles, it has something different going on in the back. And from some others, it's kind of like, well, maybe it doesn't. So still trying to get some more looks at it and see when they you know, bring some more material out. I wanted to see more angles and looks at it from the manual, but although I found the manual, it doesn't have a lot of different looks at it from some other ways. So still trying to make that determination, but wanted to put this out so that you were aware of this cooker and you were aware of my initial thoughts on it so that you know as you're trying to make your determination, you have this information and we can discuss it here in the comments. And so, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. You can find recipes for different types of air fryers and different types of cookers at superwaveovenrecipes.com. You can always get to this YouTube channel by going to waveovenrecipes.com. There's like referral links and stuff that help this channel in the video description. And also, be sure to share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and good eating.